Hey guys, welcome to my stretching for dancers tutorial. We're just gonna follow along today. We're gonna start in a standing position, hands in prayer. Inhale, upward salute. Exhale over for a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. We're gonna walk our hands out into a downward facing dog. Go ahead and just bend your knees, walk your legs, starting to warm up your muscles before getting into the deep stretches. From here, we're gonna lower ourselves down into an all fours position, and we're gonna take a few cat cows. We're gonna inhale cow pose, exhale cat pose. Inhale cow, exhale cat. Take a few more like this at your own pace, and feel free to explore your cat cows, maybe going forwards and back, maybe going side to side, whatever feels good to you today, warming up your spine. From here, we're gonna step back into a downward facing dog and we're gonna lower ourselves into an upward facing dog. And we're gonna go hold here for a few breaths, really extending and stretching our abdominal muscles, stretching out all of the core work that us dancers do. Bring yourself back up to a downward facing dog and walk your feet to your hands to slowly roll up. We're gonna face forwards here, spreading our legs a little wider than hip width apart. Shrug your shoulders back and lean forwards. Opening up that chest, we're gonna release the hands, bringing them down in front of us, getting a nice hamstring stretch here. Bending your knees as much as necessary for you. Breathing here. We're gonna bring it over to our right foot, getting a nice stretch in that IT band. The IT band is the muscle on the side of our leg. If this gets tight, it can cause knee pain. And so if you're ever experiencing tight quads or you feel like there's muscles pulling on your knees, do the IT band stretch, bringing it over to the left side here. Breathing. Bringing it back through the middle, we're gonna roll ourselves back up to standing and we're going to lower down into Malasana. It's just a deep squat here, bringing our elbows on the inside of our knees. Placing our hands behind us on our mat, we're gonna extend our legs out into a wide-legged position. Ensuring that the feet are flexed, we're gonna go ahead and lead with our chest, lean forwards, stretching our inner thighs here. Keep breathing, this one is often a killer. Use your hands to push you back up to center. We're gonna turn our torso over our right leg, lead with the chest, fold over that right leg, getting a deeper stretch on this side. Keep that breathing going, breathe through the stretches. Again, using your hands to push you back up to center, go ahead and turn your torso to the left and fold over that left leg. Still breathing here. Just taking notice if one side is tighter than the other. Sometimes our body has imbalances and that's completely normal, but it's always nice to be aware of them and be in tune with our bodies. Coming back to center, we're just going to bring our legs straight out in front of us Bending knees as much as necessary, lead with the chest and fold over your legs here. Option to flex the feet for a deeper stretch or just let them dangle if it feels like a bit too much with a flexed foot. Breathing here into the hamstrings. Go ahead and roll back up to center. We're gonna give our ankles a little love here. We're just gonna roll them out eight times and then we're gonna roll them in eight times. If you're like me, you've probably sprained your ankle more than once while dancing. So we're just gonna show our ankles a little bit of love here. Once you're finished with your ankle love, we're going to touch the bottom of our feet together 
and our legs are going to come into a diamond position, ensuring that the feet are about forearm length from the pelvis. We're going to curve our spine, place our palms on the ground, and release the head, coming into a nice lower back stretch, releasing your back from all the hectic dancing. Continuing to breathe here. Rolling up through center. Left arm comes in the air and stretch over towards that right side, getting a nice side body stretch here. Only going as low as your body feels comfortable. Option to place just the fingertips or going all the way down to the forearm. Flow through the center and into the other side. Breathing into your side body here. Opening up your muscles. Flowing through the center, we're gonna take one more stretch on each side, feeling them open even more. Last time, still breathing here. Coming back through center. From here, we're just going to take ourselves back into that all fours position, pushing up into a downward facing dog. Our right leg is gonna come up into three-legged dog. Curve your spine, string that leg through to a low lunge, making sure that your knee is on your mat and the toe is pointed. Breathing into your hip flexors here. Nice deep stretch. you would like an even deeper stretch, go ahead and bend that back leg, grabbing it with the same arm, pulling it forward for a deeper stretch. If this feels uncomfortable for you, feel free to just hold your low lunge. Coming back through our downward facing dog, this time we're going to pick up the other leg, curve our spines and string that leg through into a low lunge. Again, making sure that our leg is bent and the toe is pointed. Breathing into the hip flexors on this side. Again, noticing any imbalances from one side compared to the other. Again, if you would like an even deeper stretch here, feel free to bend that back leg, grabbing the foot with the same arm and breathing here. Again, option to just hold a low lunge. Find your way back up to your downward facing dog. And from here, we're gonna lift our right leg into three-legged dog. Bend the knee, curve the spine, stringing that leg through into a pigeon pose. Option to keep the pigeon pose just right where it landed, but if you would like an even deeper stretch, you can walk that foot out so that your knee is at a 90 degree angle and fold over. Breathing into the hip here. Our hip muscles can get really tight when we do ballet or modern and sometimes even heels dance. So this is a really great stretch to do from time to time. To get out of pigeon pose, use your hands to push you up and find your way back to a downward facing dog. Coming into the other side, string that left leg through into pigeon pose. Again, keeping it right where it landed or coming into an even deeper stretch. Breathing into your hips here. Really intense stretch. When you're ready, use your hands to push you up out of pigeon pose. And we're just gonna find ourselves in a nice all fours position. Go ahead and lower down into the restful child's pose. We're gonna walk our hands over towards the left side and we're gonna allow our right hip to sink even deeper towards the right so that we get a nice diagonal stretch here. And when you're ready, walk your hands through the middle, bringing them over to the right side and allowing the left hip to sink deeper towards the left side. 
really soothing stretch here. When you're ready, go ahead and just roll yourself up to a nice comfy seated position. You can either bring your palms to your knees or you can make a nice prayer position in front of your chest, whatever you're comfortable with. And we're just going to end off our stretch by saying thank you to our bodies for all the hard work that they do and saying thank you to yourself for showing up today. Hope you enjoyed.